CI Ken for Trigonometry Year 9. So these are our C grade skills. We start out with some foundation skills. Use the calculator to find sine, cos or tan of an angle. So sine 37 degrees, simply on the calculator, sine 37. Do double check that your calculator is in degrees. You don't need to put a degrees symbol in. You don't even need to end the brackets, but let's be careful about it. And write it down. It'll usually say it around to a certain number of decimal places. Now, I'll go to three decimal places. 601, look at the first one I've cut off. That's five or more, so I'll add one here. 602, 0.602. You'll notice I'm saying what I'm finding. So cos of 21 degrees, 0 0.934, because I have to round. And tan of 82 degrees, 7.115. Label sides of a right angle triangle. Opposite the angle, opposite the right angle, the longest side is our hypotenuse and next to the angle is the adjacent. Find sine theta, cos theta and tan theta as fractions. It's a good idea to write the ratio first Label our sides, of course, opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. And opposite over hypotenuse, 5 over 13. So if you need the ratio, write the full ratio, including theta. 12 over 13. I'm going to run out of space here. Tan of the angle is opposite over adjacent, 5 over 12. Label the angle now. We're finding sine of theta, not sine of alpha. So this is the angle that we care about. So we're going to label opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. If we are running out of space, we could work across the page here. Tan is opposite over adjacent. So we write our ratio and then we can substitute in the values. Adjacent over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. Now we're finding sides. So this should have four lines of working for each of these. Label our sides that have something on them. I've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. That means I'm using cos, because that's got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Write the ratio, including theta. Substitute in the values. Including the angle. Now normally we'd put these underneath each other. I'm going to have to move up to here. Rearrange to get x on its own. I've got x divided by 7. That'll mean I'll multiply by 7. 7 times cos 20 degrees equals x. And that tells me what to type into my calculator to get x, which is why it's a good idea to do your working and then grab your calculator. 7 times cos 20. 6.5778, we'll go to two decimal places. And we'd use units, but they haven't told us what those are, so we'll just write units. Four lines of working. This one here, label the sides. 
I've got oh I've got adjacent and a hypotenuse again so that'll be cos again write the ratio substitute the values looks harder because we've got decimals but really it's just the same thing. Rearrange to get the unknown on its own. I've got D divided by 18.41. That will be 18.41 times cos 42.73 degrees equals D. Don't forget your degrees sign. D equals, type that into the calculator. to check for units. Nope, so we'll just say units. So we've found sides. Sometimes when we're solving, the unknown is the denominator. We'll have a look at what that means. Might do this one first over here. Label our sides. Opposite and hypotenuse. That means sine. Sine of the angle is opposite over hypotenuse. Substitute your values including the angle with the degrees sign. And now you can see where this is different. The x is underneath. This means there's a couple of different things that you can do, but what it will mean is that it will end up as a division, not a multiplication. One of the ways to remember it is that you're just swapping x and sine cos or tan of the angle, so that it will work out as x equals 12 divided by sine 35 degrees. Then we know what we're typing into our calculator. 12 divided by sine 35, 20.92, and we're in meters here, so that's in meters. Quick double check that your hypotenuse is longer than the other side that you know. Yes, it is. It's just a bit of an idiot check there. Let's work this one out. Label our sides, opposite and adjacent. We have tan. Where are we going to squeeze this one in? Maybe here. We write our ratio. Substitute our values. and we see that x has ended up on the bottom again. What we're going to do, the other way of thinking about this, which is more mathematically correct, I need to get x back up to the top line. I can't do anything while I've got to divide by x here. The only way to do that is to multiply by x on both sides, which will cancel this x out and leave me with x times tan 68.5 degrees equals 21.4. Sorry about working over the question there. Now that hasn't got me x on its own, but it's got up to x up to the top line. I have x times tan 68.5 degrees. I just want x on its own, which will mean dividing by tan 68.5 degrees. x equals 21.4 divided by tan 68.5 degrees or you could write it over it, of course. So that's mathematically why it turns out as a division. Sorry about squeezing my working in there. 21.4 divided by 10, 68.5, 8.43. Now, you can just remember, if you do proper working, if you write your ratio and substitute your values, when you see that x on the bottom, you know it's going to be divide. When you see the x on the top, you know it's going to be times. Showing correct working really supports you to get the right answer. Finding an angle is done almost the same way. Finding theta here, label our sides. Opposite, hypotenuse. That will be sine. Write our ratio. 
substitute the values we know, keep theta in there. We don't know theta, it stays as theta. Now what this is telling me is that I need to get theta on its own. And here's another example where showing really good working supports you to remember what to do. Because when you see an unknown angle in here, you know you're going to end up using inverse of sine, cos, or tan, the second function key on your calculator. To get rid of this sine and just have theta, we need to do the opposite of sine to the other side. It's 3 over 6 could be a half, by the way. Either one would work. So theta equals inverse sine of 3 over 6. We've done our working. That tells me what to put into the calculator. Second function, sine. In brackets there, 3 divided by 6, or you could use the fraction key for 3 over 6. Oh, and it's 30. What? Yes. I had a moment of confusion because I thought I was finding a side, but I'm finding an angle. You see why 30 would be a really silly answer for a side, but it's a really good answer for an angle. 30 degrees, because we're finding an angle. Now here we've got two angles. We don't need to use trigonometry for both of them, so we'll start out labeling our triangle based on theta, because of course if we labeled it based on alpha, the sides would be labeled differently. So choose which angle you're labeling the triangle for. Label our sides, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. We've got all five sides, which means it's up to you which ratio you use. So tan has been missing out a bit here, I think. We've only used tan once. Let's use tan so it doesn't feel lonely. Opposite over adjacent, write our ratio, substitute our values. I was finding, I have tan theta, I want theta on its own. That means inverse tan of three quarters. Second tan three over four, we'll use a fraction key this time. Hop out of the fraction with the ang with the arrow, brackets, and enter. Now you go to the nearest angle unless they tell you otherwise. So this will be 37 degrees. And because they've said find that the un the an angle, we don't know which angle they've asked for here. We might need to find both. Remember the angle sum of a triangle is 180. This is 90. So angle alpha will be 180 degrees minus 37 degrees minus 90 degrees. Fifty-three degrees. And then we've got a word problem. They've drawn the triangle for us, so that's very nice. We need to find the angle of elevation, the angle up from the base. Opposite, adjacent, that will be tan. Angles of elevation and depression are often tan. Incidentally, we've cheated a bit by using angles of elevation here. That's not really a C-grade skill. So if you, they have told us this is our angle here. Substitute our values. Be careful because this is meters and this is kilometers. So we better change one of them. So we'll make that 3,000 meters. Oops. Rearrange to get theta on its own. and use our calculator. Fourteen point nine to the nearest degree, fifteen degrees. There we go. There's our C I can.